Hello, my name is Isabel Tovar, and I'm the NAGPRA Liaison and Assistant Curator of Archaeology and Ethnography at History Colorado. In this Insights in Five, I'm going to give a broad overview of NAGPRA and the Colorado State process. So what is NAGPRA? NAGPRA stands for the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, a federal law passed November 16, 1990. It provides for the respectful return of Native American ancestral human remains and cultural items. It requires federal agencies and anyone receiving federal funding, this includes museums, universities, local governments, and state agencies, to repatriate or transfer Native American human remains and other cultural items to appropriate parties. Consultation with lineal descendants, American Indian tribes, and Native Hawaiian organizations is required and is a vital part of the work to determine what cultural items are and to whom they may be transferred. The National NAGPRA program is administered by the National Park Service with the Department of the Interior issuing regulations to assist in implementation of the law. A grant program helps support consultation and repatriation work and the Secretary of the Interior may assess civil penalties and fines on museums that do not comply. Cultural items include human remains, associated and unassociated funerary objects, sacred objects, and objects of cultural patrimony. NAGPRA requires that those receiving federal funding identify these cultural items in their control and report them in summaries and inventories, which are publicly available on the federal register. So for museums, this means having gone through their collections, consulting with tribes and Native Hawaiian organizations, and then submitting these reports to the National NAGPRA program for publication. NAGPRA also established procedures for planned excavations and inadvertent discoveries of Native American cultural items on federal or tribal lands. While discoveries on state or private lands are not covered by NAGPRA, the state of Colorado does have a process in place to respectfully address inadvertent discoveries of Native American human remains in these areas. Indigenous people have been in what is now known as Colorado for at least 11,000 years. It is no surprise that with modern development, activities result in the discovery of unmarked graves on state and private lands. These individuals are covered by state statute. When unmarked graves are determined to be Native American, the Office of the State Archaeologist works with the Executive Director of the Colorado Commission of Indian Affairs, landowners, and at least one designated representative from a resident Ute tribe in Colorado to determine next steps. This statute was put in place in 1990. The partnerships formed between History Colorado, CCIA, the Southern Ute Indian Tribe, and the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe also guided development of a standing process entitled The Process for Consultation, Transfer, and Reburial of Culturally Unidentifiable Native American Human Remains and Associated Funerary Objects Originating from State and Private Lands, also known as The Process. When NAGPRA was enacted in 1990, the regulations for disposition of CUI individuals were reserved. This was a source of frustration to many tribes across the U.S. because large numbers of CUI individuals remained in museums and agencies. It was possible for institutions to request a recommendation for disposition for CUI individuals from the National NAGPRA Review Committee if a recommendation was obtained, the United States Secretary of the Interior could authorize disposition. The Colorado U Tribes, CCIA, History Colorado, and the State Attorney General's Office started to work together as early as 1999 on a different solution. Grant funds allowed for consultation with 45 additional tribes with ancestral ties to Colorado in the development of the process. Ultimately, in 2008, the process was approved by the Secretary of the Interior and works within state law and NAGPRA. It is also important to point out that since the development of the process, the above mentioned team has been able to forge an understanding with most landowners of tribal preferences to leave graves undisturbed. If remains are disinterred, they are transferred through the Office of the State Archaeologist to the Department of Archaeology and Ethnography for NAGPRA consultation and disposition. So even though History Colorado does not continue to add ancestral remains to the collection, we are responsible for completing tribal consultation and finding appropriate disposition for individuals who come into our care. An essential question to understand is why was NAGPRA passed? 
NAGPRA stands as human rights legislation, attempting to address hundreds of years of dislocation, violence, and removal of material culture from indigenous people on land which would become the United States. This included removing human remains from burial sites and adding them to museum collections. To be clear, the image here on the right is of an early installation of the History Colorado Collection at the Colorado State Museum. No human remains are in the image. With increasing pressure during the middle and later parts of the 20th century, tribal and indigenous rights representatives fought for the respectful return of human remains and cultural items stored in museum collections. NAGPRA reinforces the need to restore dignity and respect tribal sovereignty. This work extends beyond repatriation. Consultation and building relationships can lead to clearer representation and educational opportunities. For example, at History Colorado, many years of consultation and collaboration resulted in updated contemporary exhibitions telling the history of Ute people in written on the land, Ute voices, Ute history, both at the Ute Indian Museum in Montrose and at the History Colorado Center in Denver. For more information on NAGPRA, please visit their website listed here. You can also Google National NAGPRA. For more information on History Colorado's NAGPRA program, please visit our webpage. So thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this program. If you would like to see other Insights in 5 programs, you can find them at these links below. And if you enjoyed this presentation, please consider giving at the donation link. And remember to mention Insights and In-Person in the comment box.